yes, yes, it's as reviews cars. We're back with another video. Today we've got the Mercedes E Class 2019 E220D. elegant plus the sporty touch when it's behind you. Um, you've got the classic grille, you've got all the Mercedes logo for the branding, uh, you've got the headlights as well which are similar to the C-Class, not that much of a difference, um, so it looks quite similar. Let's talk about the side now, um, the wheels, you've got the 18 inches on here, um, AMG line pack once again, so you don't get this with the basic model, uh, it's particularly with this pack. Um, you can get on the C-Class GLC. I have them on the GLC as well. You get them on the A-Class. So, um, they're nice wheels to have, but I just prefer more spokes. Like, when you see more, when, when it has more spokes and like maybe a darker color, it just quality touch. So the silver obviously goes with the gray. Uh, it has silver all around. And you've got the standard tints, which come factory fitted. Uh, onto the back now. I don't know, I'm just in love with it. I prefer this over the C-Class. Size-wise, it's perfect. If you're taking your family out or something, this is a lovely car to get. Um, you've got the classical silver there. You've got the um, diffuser at the bottom as well, with the chrome around, the two massive exhausts. Yeah, so now we've got this new segment. We're gonna check if, if the exhaust is real or not. So I've gone and grabbed the stick. Let's do a little test. Fake exhaust, typical Mercedes. So onto the boot now. Oh. As you can see, just a random person in the boot. You could tell from there, yeah, this has massive capacity. Maybe two large suitcases, one small one. I think it's 660 liters it comes to. Quality. Yes, as as reviews cars. Yes, we had another break and now we're back. That time again now we're we gonna talk about the interior. Yeah. We got the as we, as you know we got the E-class today and luxury man. Beauty. Bro so honestly cool. this interior is mad though. It's, it's mad what plate is this again? This is 2019. 2019? Yeah. But how come some 28 no how come some 2019s? Oh, what's going on there? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me oh, shut the plates, yeah. Scratch this, scratch this. Pause it, pause it, pause it. Pause it, pause it, pause it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You cut the video, It man. is cut, bro. Oh, I'm telling you, cut the seatbelt on. Right, take two. Yeah, so as I was saying before you left the plates on, yeah, um, you're saying this is 2019, but how come some 2019, like for example the C Class, it didn't have the same interior? Uh, before we start anything, yeah. you do this every single time, bro. I beg you, put the belt on, please. Oh, God. All right. Please. Scratch this as well. Right, we're back. Take Five three. Five minutes later, we're ready. Take, Take three. three. So, do you remember my question or do you want me to say it again? Can you repeat it, please? Right. So, you said this was a 2019 E Class, yeah? Yeah. But how come some 2019 C-Classes don't have the same interior? I thought it'd be the same, because it's the same year. Uh, it's, it's just because you're going, once again, it's an E-Class or C-Class. So E-Class is a bit more higher up. Like the S-Class comes with quality interior. You must have seen it already. Yeah. But the E-Class obviously is a step up from the C-Class. Right. So you're basically going towards luxury. Like E-Class is, you got luxury and sport mixed together. Right. But with the C-Class, it's just, uh, it's it's more of like, uh, how do I how do I explain, man? Standard? Not standard. Like, it, it's, it's class specs. 
But the only thing is that's just a start up kind of thing. Mm. Then the E class is just higher up and out. Like these are these are used for a lot of a lot of chauffeur companies use E classes and S classes. Yeah, no, nah, I've been picked up by quite a bit of E class yeah, Ubers, like man. Even Uber Lux as well, I think yeah. they use the S class and it, some use the E class as well sometimes. But the spec wise. Uh, what's the first thing that catches your eye in this car though? Because I know what catches my eye. I, I know, I know. What, what catches your eye? Go on, tell us first. The digital dash two 100%. screens. 100%. Straight away, you look at the double twin screen. It's, it's quality, innit? It? it takes over the whole dashboard. Of course, fam, look at it. So, um, what, is it touchscreen as well? I believe so. Let me double check. Oh no, it's not touch, touch screen. Okay, so it's not touch screen. Yeah, no, I think the 2021 maybe comes with the touch screen. Because this one isn't touch screen. What, 69 plate? Uh, yeah, so... Uh, I f- I, as, like, I'm not 100% correct maybe, but the 2021, so it's either the 69 or the 70 plate. Right. It's a slight change in um, specs. They're releasing a new one as well. So, um, bear in mind, he said he's unsure, so don't take his I'm word not, for it. I'm not 100% before you get sure. bare hate comments, I'm not 100% <laughs> sure, but I prefer these over the new, um, the new mugs they're releasing. Now, like, I don't like the whole body of the new one, the uh, what, are the same which one, like, ones? Say the new A class, the new, oh, um, bro, have you seen? Have you seen I absolutely one? hate the new uh, A class, like, even the new GLC. I saw it and I was like, mate, like, what are you doing? But what A class, the hatchback or the saloon? So A class hatchback and the saloon lights wise, what do you think of the lights? Alright, uh, me personally, I'll be honest, my sister drives a uh, 17 plate A class. Yeah. I prefer that shape prefer compared that to shape the new well. ones. But the way it is is the CLA and the CLS, you can't even tell a difference between the yeah. CLA and CLS. Yeah, yeah, because no? I'm getting confused now. Yeah, until you actually see the car, like when you see it from a distance, you think, oh, is that a CLA or CLS? When you're right next to it, you see the shape of it and you think, oh, this is slightly bigger. Yeah. So I don't get what Mercedes. But obviously the A class interior is is immaculate. Interior is immaculate. It's immaculate. We're gonna have an A class soon on this channel as well, um, probably in the next couple of weeks. Yes. Which is a similar color grey and it. Uh, which uh, a hatchback or a saloon? Hatchback. Hatchback, yeah. Yeah, hatchback. Yeah. So um, that's gonna be in two three weeks. But this back to this, yeah. This is one of my favorite models. I mm. love this man. I've always liked E classes. I don't know why, but it's just. Um, I don't know if it suits me, you know. Uh, comment below if you think a E class suits me. You know? Personally, I think it suits you, bro. But you, you look better in a 4x4 now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look better in a 4x4. Uh, I'm planning on getting a project car for the channel as well, probably soon. Yeah. Yeah, maybe once once I get rid of the GLCs, not not ASAP, but soon, mm. I'm looking to get like a 1993 Mercedes. Uh, we need to talk about that off camera as well. Yeah, yeah, what do you mean the, get rid of the GLC? No, we're, we're, <laughs> It hasn't even been a year. We'll have this combo soon. I'll make yeah. a video fresh for this. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna look to get a project car soon. So like, any suggestions? Just comment below. Let me know. DM me. Uh, now I'll listen. Forget that. about what car you wanna get and what car you have. Yeah. Let's talk about the car you're driving. How does it feel driving? Lovely, you know. It's, you know what it is with the seats as well. It's it's something. You know, even if I drive 200 miles right now, I wouldn't get tired. Like it's it's so comfortable. Like it's, it's smooth as well. I can't smooth. really hear the engine at smooth. all. The engine, even though it's a diesel, it's it's quite lovely, lovely voice. And talking about the seats you mentioned before, yeah, yeah. I'm looking at it. It's got leather and um suede. Yeah, so it's leather and suede both. Um, the top, see, like over here, is leather on the sides, and in the middle is suede, which. I don't know. That extra luxury I, I, I look. think it looks luxury. It just looks class. And then back onto this, oh man, I just can't stop looking at this. The digital dash. Yeah, it does look. I can't man. stop looking at it. it. Does look, man. Yeah. Then you got the navy as well, and this one has that massive screen, so it's like a TV screen, man. Can you make the nav go onto the um uh, in front of you instead of on the other screen? Yeah, no, no, I can do it on this as well. Okay, so it does so that. It does, it does, you can change it on here. Right, right. Like, you have all the options. See, like, on top over here, navigation. Let's just show you real quick. Right, they look all the different options. Yeah, so you get all different options. Then you can do your music, radio, media, whatever you want to change it to. Right. See, like, media. There you go. You got the Bluetooth connection. So it's... It's class, man. This is quality for night drive. Playing a bit in the Seaboard Lawn, mate, you're sorted. 
The other ones that you didn't even want to come back from the moment we tried. <laughs> right, so what's the next topic of discussion, Az? Alright, so one of the other things that catches my eye is that you know already I'm a fan of it. It's the clock, the Mercedes clock. What? Alright, calm down, we're recording the video. Yeah, I remember you, um, what, what car did we do previously and he had a clock as well? The E53 AMG. Right, yeah, that's it. So that had the clock as well, obviously, because I was an E-Class, but that was more of like a going on to supercar kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. And this is more like standard, like everyday, basically. Yeah, more that's affordable. More affordable and it's got a smaller engine. That, so it has a two litre engine, this one. Yeah. Easier and, to maintain rather yeah, than the E53. I'm sure of it. Uh, it's 158 brake horsepower, but they say around 160-ish. Yeah. Push, which is which is good for like an everyday car. That like you can't go wrong with it. Um, the BMW 520D is similar to this, and the A6 as well is similar to this in terms of cars. Mm. The A6 we had on the channel as well, and they're both two-liter diesel as well. So. Um, Everyone knows I'm a Mercedes man, so I'm obviously gonna pick this ahead of everything else. But I, I, I'd like to bring someone who has a different type of perspective on this, on, on different cars. Yeah, but I'll be honest, what, what was that um, Audi we did before, the white one? It was the Audi A6, so that's Yeah, so I'll be honest, I, I really, do you know what, I, I love the Mercedes interior, but I think yeah. it's too big now. But the Audi one, I was speechless with that, it was so sleek, yeah. so yeah. adult, mature. The thing is, the Audi that we had had all the specs you can ask for. Yeah. It had everything. It was like you're in a cabin flying a plane. Yeah. It actually car. was. That's what it was like. But um, back to this car now. You got you got loads of specs. You got the lane assist. So um, whenever you're close or another car's coming in the other lane, you get a warning on your mirrors, which is. Uh, is that that little red light? Yeah, it's the little, so little red light. So let me just try to catch that in. in. It's a little red triangle. I don't know if it's going to come right now though. Yeah, so um, that's a cool feature on the car. It helps you a lot. And I think when a car gets too close um, behind you, the it, warning comes yeah. Yeah. Which, which, to be honest, you need in nowadays. 100%. 100%. That's one spec that you need to go for. 100%. Like, um, then you've got. But to be fair, wait, before you go on, yeah, you got sensors in the car, so what's the actual need of having that little light come up on your... Uh, with the sensors, it's slightly different because with this, it's more... Um, how do I explain this? Like, say if you're drifting into the lane yeah. next to you, sometimes your sensors won't actually tell you until you get right next to the car. Yes. Like, in terms... With this, it will tell you slightly in advance. Like, say there's a red triangle there, and the car's not even next to us. Like, it's a bit of a distance. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like, see what you're saying. It say. was like three, two car lengths behind, but it still tells you. Like, so it's class. So it's Probably. even more safer than a sensor. Yeah, hundred percent safer than a sensor. With the sensor, it goes all on all on mad one. Yeah, it goes everywhere. I think we done that in the C class, and we left yeah. the number plates on. Oh, look who it is. We got the fans there as reviews cars. We're in the middle hey, of the video. Where's my McFlurry, mate? Hey, yeah, hey. hey. Nice car, mate. Lovely, lovely. Car, lo lovely. Nice car, so that's the owner of the car driving my car right there. Is he just following <laughs> us? I think he's just following us. Back to base, lads. Back to base. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, oh. you need to you need to enjoy the moment. Look at this. He doesn't even want to drive. He just wants to go next to us. Calm that's down, your mate. GLC. Down, that's my car right there. Drive it slowly, mate. Drive it slowly. So back to the point now. You got the heated seats. Um, you got lovely speakers. Um, sound system in this is actually class as well. You got the nice uh, double white stitching across the sides as well. Yeah, man. It, and you got in this one, you got ambient lighting as well. At the moment, it it's won't really show, but I, bright. I like the E-Class one, man. You know, so what's the difference? The C -class. Uh, it's, it's, it's more vibrant, vibrant, man. It's more. Common. Do you know what? We'll take you to a car park right now, and we'll actually show you the ambient lighting just to show like how it actually looks. Are we now? Yeah, hundred <laughs> <laughs> percent. Uh, this doesn't have the gearbox. Do you know, like, um, if this doesn't have, sorry, not the gearbox, this doesn't have the control pad like my GLC had in the video. 
Uh, this has more, um, the, I think 2020 model comes with that one, right. and the 2019 comes with this one. Um, and I, I like the I like the new one because it's like a it's, it's like a mouse pad. And yeah. You're just using it and it's touch as well, so it just makes sense to have that. Yeah, but the one in your car is actually mad. Yeah. It's so flat. It's big. Wicked. Wicked. And I like the fact that it's matte, it's not shiny. Do you know what? Like, loads of people look at cars and they think, oh, yeah, it looks wicked from outside, blah, blah, blah. But to me, little tiny things count. Like, even this, look at this, man. Yeah. Like, this this just gives that touch. Like, it just makes you, it sells you the car. Yeah. Uh, When you look in front of you, it sells you the car, man. Like, everything. No, 100%. The front, the dash itself, the digital dash dash itself is a seller to me. Even the outside of the car, if it was like 50 50%, like, it sells you 50%. Mm. I think the interior sells you 100%. Yeah. No, you're right about that. Interior. And a lot of people will back me up on this as well. Mm. Right, so you've managed to find a, a dark See what car park. I did for the channel, man. Look, we found a car park and look at the ambient lighting, man. Yeah, the ambient lighting that, is much that more That just vibrant. sells you the car. This, look at all of this. Look in front of you. This sells you the car, hundred yeah. percent. If this don't sell you the car, I don't know what you. I don't know what you. And obviously, you can change the color. It has yeah, numerous can, different it, colors. It has numerous different colors once again. And whatever your vibe is, whatever your feelings are, you can change your colour, <laughs> So say if you're in a in a Duki Suki mood, yeah, you can change your colour differently. And if you're in a Hanji Hanji mood, bro, Hanji Hanji, we can have the right, Listen, listen, I'm gonna stop you there before yeah, you just carry on, yeah? Listen, listen. So I think Duki, you've Duki, no, Hanji, no, no, listen, Hanji, listen. I think you've vibe, covered bro. I think you've covered the most important um yeah. uh, features of the car, look yeah. At this. this basically shows you how it looks at night. Yeah. And just let me know what you think in the comments. Alright, so what would you give the car out of 10? Honestly. Bear in mind everything, you know, the fake exhaust, there's no touch screen. Bear in mind all the pros and cons. Alright, uh, let's double check that again. Yep, no touch screen. It's no definitely screen, not. 100%. So, now I'm gonna be a bit more realist, like think about a, a different perspective. And, um,. What, what's the first question? What, what do you want me to? Alright, let's say you didn't own a Mercedes at all. This was your. This yeah, you this went. You went to the Mercedes, Mercedes showroom. And this you is a test, test drove, drove the yeah. car. Yeah. What would you give it out of ten? I think a solid eight point five. Eight point five. Yeah. And give me some pros and cons. So the pros, obviously, you got the interior. I feel like the drive is quite comfortable. Mm. Um, seats are lovely. Uh, you can't get bored of the car. Which is one of the main f- main things. Yeah. Even say you bought this car two, three years down the line, three, four years down the line, I don't think someone can get bored of the car. Mm. So if you can't get a brand new car on lease or whatever you wanted, and you want to wait two, three years, I think this is perfect. The E220D is something to look at. And what about any cons as to why it put you off from purchasing or maybe getting a different car? Um, no way is there's, there's big competition rivalry in this business yeah like you have brands that have the same it's it's like similar features and everything so i can't uh, i can't guarantee it at 10 out of 10 because i might see another car which is similar to this and i because i have i've only had the a6 on my channel yeah and this comes above the a6 no no but put all of that aside give me some cons about this this one here as to maybe why you wouldn't get this and you get something else because that has that and this doesn't have that number one could be the size of it on a daily basis man the like, size yeah it's it's a bit chunky what do you think it is long like it's long yeah like parking wise but you can't talk about chunky you drive a GLC yeah, no, no 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 but no, yeah no, yeah put all of that aside pretend you don't aside, yeah, pretend yeah, I yeah. don't have a car <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I'm going yeah. for this yeah no it definitely it's, is chunky and long it is chunky uh, another another one is um, well, I, I, do you know what it is? It's hard to find stuff that's not. Another one is maybe the. Do you know how I explained the brake horsepower? Yeah. The engine of this maybe takes a bit longer to push. Uh, one thing that I'm confused about and yeah. I don't like. Why does it have a fake exhaust? So fake exhausts are obviously. What happens is the style of the exhaust. Yeah. They can't have it in a specific style. 
Right. So the, the, the exhaust might be small, if you get what but I mean. Are there any advantages of having a real one and disadvantages of having a fake the one? The real one, obviously, it looks real as well straight away. But does it make but a it's difference just that, as you know drive? the fake ones? Yeah. The fake ones just look a bit more stylish. Do you know right. that you have the silver exhaust? Yeah, 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 because this one does look... The exhaust isn't that big, basically. Yeah. yeah. The real exhaust. Okay. It's going to be tiny inside. That's why they keep the little protection inside. And when you put, when like we put the stick inside, it just shows that there's a cage in front of the actual exhaust. And one more thing, not to be unprofessional, but this is a 2020 car. Why why can't they do touchscreen? It's, it's 2019. So 2019. So 2019. If you go for the 2020, you get the touchscreen. And this is the 2019, so. Yeah, but they added all of this and they can't even put touchscreen. Yeah, I don't know what they're thinking, man. Like, even now, when you think about it, Aston Martin just released the, I think it's the Aston Martin SUV, yeah? Yeah. And with that, it has the MBUX system, like the same as Mercedes, but I don't get why, I'm, I'm gonna make a video about this. Shall I tell you what I don't get? What? Why are you driving in laps? No, but... <laughs> <laughs> back to, back to Aston Martin, yeah? Yeah. The Aston Martin actually has the 2016-17 system. In the new one? In the new one. Yeah, but so do you know what? Mercedes's old system. That name speaks system. for itself, though. And then even this, they've taken this. And this is... If you're releasing a car and say 2021, 2020, why would you put this in the car? Yeah, but do you know when what it is? That, that name speaks for itself. Yeah. So it's the, na the you name... You're buying the name. The yeah, you're buying the name. The item, that's what it is. Yeah. But yeah, let's... Let's let's stop doing rounds as the right. cameraman's feeling a bit dizzy now. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. In a bit. <laughs> Peter Jackson who fam New director from Craydon <laughs> Shit I'm still recording 